I watched the quarterback eyes. I seen the receiver do a curl and just dying to break. We preached the whole week. Ken, what was that? Uh, getting several interceptions. What, what do you attribute that to? You say yes, sir. So you've been getting a lot of interceptions. So what do you attribute that to? Uh, really just. Uh, practicing in, in practice, oh, dying, like I said, dying to break, uh, uh, playing uh, off the quarterback's right eyes, and what we preach is depth. Uh, it right makes up. my job easier when I can see you everything. <laughs> And you, and you got, you have, look like you have good speed. You come from John Muir High School, <laughs> so how does that feel? Uh, that that's, that that helps a lot. I ran track in high school at John Muir, of course, big track school. So yeah, that helped a lot. I, I look pretty slow in that pick though. Isn't it? <laughs> Kalen, what was the biggest difference between the first half with the defense and the second? Uh, the first half, I, I feel like we was just going through the motions. Uh, and then the second half, I feel like we pick it up and we start playing our game and just start going out there and having fun. I would say that. Was there any message kind of in the locker room about? Uh, really, play? just just play our game. Uh, go out there and do what we do best. Uh, stop being caught up in emotions. They score. Uh, put that behind us. Just go out there and play our game. Really, we just go out there mindset every time like it's on us. Uh, we gotta we gotta get this get the ball back to our offense no matter what happens. If we do the pick, let's get the ball back to him and we have faith in him that he's gonna go back and score. And that's it. Is that something you're aware of? Like hey, we're gonna get this pick right now? Uh yeah, I mean we was just out there, like I said, dying to break. Uh, dropped a lot of balls, a lot of interceptions that we should have had. Uh, we got to get on Judge uh, next week. Did you get on Raylan at all? Yeah, Raylan. Raylan, though, he, he, he sucked for that. I, I told him he sucked for that. Uh, he dropped the pick. He should have ended the game right there. You guys got your hands on a lot more balls in the second half. What do you attribute that to? Uh, really, just that was just us going out there and playing our game. Uh, we get turnovers every game. Uh, so... We was just preaching that, like, we don't got no turnovers this this game right now. What are we going to do? We got to change that coming to the second half. And that we did. How much emphasis was there on turnovers? You get that last one? Say again, How sorry. much emphasis was on trying to force the turnovers on before the uh, Really, I, I knew I knew a play was going to come. I knew the quarterback was going to get the ball out of his hand fast because of the pressure. We've been pressuring the whole game. Our D-line was getting to him. So, really, when I seen the receiver break down, I, I broke before the ball even was thrown. And it just came right to me. What are the keys to defending a running quarterback tonight? Uh, really, just in the back end match. So when he when he rolls out, any type of movement in the in the pocket, match your receiver, look behind you, just in case he. Because we seen on film, he likes to he likes to scramble. Uh, really, really talented quarterback. So that was really the key. Just match our guys and let the front end do their job. So if he takes off, you're trusting the front guys. Yeah. To handle that. Yeah. Just sure Until he pass the line of scrimmage and then we get to the ball. How does it feel playing with such a great offense? Uh, it feels good uh, knowing that they gonna go out there and score, and they got faith in us that we gonna get the ball back to them every time. Uh, we all on the same page, I say out there, and we just love to have fun with each other. And then that come with just they make us better in practice every week, competing with each other. So that helps a lot. Makai had a huge PBU in the second half to get you guys off the field. Can you just talk about his play overall and just teams challenging him as often as they do? Uh, Makai, uh, a vet, a vet out there, one of the older dudes uh, out there. I would say we we challenge him just to go out there and be that that vet, that veteran in the back end, because he I th he's the oldest back there, and we're, we're pretty young in the back end. So. We just challenge him to be that captain and be that guy that we know he is. Do you guys do anything different than wide runs? Seem to be working really well for us in the first half. And the second half seems like you guys shut that down as well. Uh, I wouldn't say we we didn't do nothing different. Uh, in the first half, we just we just had some misalignments, people not uh, in the wrong gaps. Uh, so I would say the, the second half, we knew we had to go fix, and we fixed that, and we stopped it. Eric talked about being a little in his own head, playing his former team in that first half, and said he was more aggressive in the second half, and that made you guys more aggressive. Could you feel that change from him on the field? Yeah, I can feel that. Uh, in the first half, it, he said it kind of felt weird to him playing his, his old school. It was like, like he was like in practice kind of with them. Uh, in our second half, I just told him, like, be be the guy that you are, that we know you are, and let's be great. 
and that's what he did that second half. He came out, and you can see that swagger. He he was comfortable. He got back to his game. At halftime, was it more the coaches challenging you guys, or were there some players in the locker room as a defense just saying we can uh, Coaches was, coaches was challenging us. They knew that wasn't the game that we that we showed the first half. That they knew that wasn't our game. They knew we was way better than that. And we we came in that second half in the halftime like we got to pick this up. Like this is not us. When you think about where you guys were a year ago and to be five and zero right now, ranked probably in the top five. How have you processed that? Where have you guys come the furthest in your mind? Uh, really, I would say we. We just going out there and just having fun, playing our game. We know we we the best. We feel like, and we got guys on our team to be five and zero, and that just comes with just the team being all together and nobody being selfish. And if you get uh, given your nickname, is you okay with interceptions being called pick sticks? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a cool. We can roll with that. Yeah, I can roll with that. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you.